Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, I'm going to solve this interesting polynomial equation. So I'm going to use two ways to solve this equation. So without any delay, let's start solving. So the given equation is x to the power 4 plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, in the first approach, I'm going to use some complex method. So we can write this x to the power 4 as x square whole square and 1 as we know that i square equals to minus 1. So, we can write minus of i square equals to 0. Now, we will apply an algebraic identity of a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b multiplied with a minus b. Okay. Now, considering a as x square and b as i, we can write this equation as x square minus i multiplied with x square plus i equals to 0. So, from here we can write x square minus i equals to 0 and x square plus i equals to 0. So, from here we can write x square equals to i and this implies this x equals to plus or minus root under i. Okay. And here we have x square if I take this plus i to the right hand side we have minus i so this implies this x equals to plus or minus root over minus i now in the next step I am going to substitute the value of i as 1 plus i whole square divided by 2 which is equals to 1 plus i square plus 2i divided by 2 this equals to 1 minus 1 plus 2i divided by 2. So, 1 minus 1 get cancelled out. So, this is equals to 2i divided by 2 which is equals to i. Okay. I am going to substitute i as 1 plus i whole square divided by 2. So, from here we can write x equals to plus or minus root under 1 plus i square divide by 2 which is equals to plus or minus 1 plus i divide by root 2. Now from here we are getting x equals to 1 plus i by root 2 or minus of 1 plus i divide by root 2. Similarly here we can substitute minus i as 1 minus i whole square divide by 2. Now by substituting we have x equals to plus or minus root under 1 minus i whole square divided by 2. So this equals to plus or minus 1 minus i divided by root 2. So from here we are getting x equals to minus 1 minus i divided by root 2 and another one is 1 minus i root 2. Now let's just jump into second approach. In the second approach, x to the power 4 plus 1 equals to 0 can be written as x square whole square plus 1 square whole square equals to 0. So we know an algebraic identity of a plus b whole square which is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So from here we can write a square plus b square equals to a plus b whole square minus 2ab. Now let's just consider a as x square and b as 1. So by applying this algebraic identity we can write this equation as x square plus 1 whole square minus 2 x square equals to 0. Now this implies this x square plus 1 whole square so here 2 can be written as root 2x whole square equals to 0. So here one thing you can notice here we can apply the algebraic identity of a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b multiplied with a minus b. By applying the algebraic identity we can write x square plus root 2x plus 1 multiplied with x square minus root 2x plus 1 equals to 0. 
Okay, so from here we can write x square plus root 2x plus 1 equals to 0 and x square minus root 2x plus 1 equals to 0. So here we are getting quadratic equation in order to find the value of x. We will apply the quadratic formula that is x equals to minus b plus or minus root under b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So here a equals to 1, b equals to root 2 and c equals to 1. Let us just put the value here. This implies this x equals to minus root 2 plus or minus root under 2 minus 4 multiplied with 1 multiplied with 1 divide by 2 minus root 2 plus or minus so 2 minus 4 will be root minus 2 divide by 2 so from here we can write minus of 1 by root 2 plus or minus iota by root 2 so here we are getting Two solution of x that is minus 1 by root 2 plus iota by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 minus iota by root 2. Okay. Now for second quadratic equation x equals to root 2 plus or minus root under 2 minus 4 divide by 2. So this implies this we have 1 by root 2 plus or minus iota by root 2. So from here we can write x equals to 1 by root 2 plus iota by root 2 and the second solution is 1 by root 2 minus iota by root 2. So from both the approaches we are getting same solution. So any of the approach you can choose to solve this polynomial equation. I hope you have understood both the approaches. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the like button for more such interesting videos. Thank you.